Hello. This here is the One Tigress Bivy Tent. It's made from ripstop nylon that is coated and all the seams are sealed. Now, this here is great for stealth camping, uh, a low profile, or very compact, lightweight camping as well, because this packs down into a very small bag, but it gives you protection from the rain, from the bugs, and from the wind. Camping in this last night, what I did find out, though, is this is not going to be a good cold weather bivy for myself. I had to sleep with it unzipped a lot of the way because it was down to zero Celsius right around the freezing mark and the cold temperature outside and the warmer temperature inside created condensation. There's a lot of condensation in this. It also has a mesh back here for that purpose to make it breathable in there. But at those colder temperatures, you're not going to get around it. I didn't last night anyway. My outside of my bag was wet and I can actually see droplets inside here from the condensation. So as a colder type shelter... It's not going to be much good for me for sure. In the warmer months, I should not have that problem. That's that mesh I was talking about right there good area there for breathing this covers it if it does rain it's uh, very nice so I'm going to start up here it, this here like I said this comes down and stakes out down here that covers your bug net there keep it from getting wet when it rained. Here you have two aluminum poles going opposite from each other to hold this up above you. You've got a flap that comes right across here and right down underneath. This is where your zipper is. Two Velcro here. So if the water hits this, it's going to hit here and run down and off. Now this unzips right here, comes down, on Velcro, on Velcro, and opens up. You also have a bug net in here that you can zip, zip up and it holds it down like this so you can breathe through here as well. They designed this down here that you can tie this to hold this up off of you, giving you more room under there for your feet and so on. Now you can put a trekking pole through here. I just use this branch. I can put a ridge line between two trees, tie up to that to hold this up. Uh, I pounded the stake in the ground to hold it up. But there's many ways you can do this. That's your own imagination. That just holds it up off of you so it's not laying on you. Right now, I've got the bug net in there so it's laying more flat. But it's staked down in this corner and this corner. And where those aluminum poles 
are at the ends, there's tie outs there that you stake it down as well. Now this is plenty long enough, but I put this ground sheet here just to put my boots on to step in and so on. I also put this sleep pad underneath of me. I cleared this area of sticks and so on, but I put the sleep pad underneath me just to protect this uh, ripstop from getting stabbed by a stick and such thought that was very important. It's waterproof, but it's not puncture proof. So when I'm in this, now I've got basically about four inches from my nose to the top. zip this up. I can turn on my side as well. It's basically it's also you don't have a whole lot of room. If you're claustrophobic <laughs> this may not be for you. So you get this all tucked in here, everything out of the way. And there we go. I'm in. So there it is right there. It worked well last night. Like I said, besides the condensation. But everything else, I loved about this. And warmer weather will help with the condensation problem. So this here is the One Tigris Bibby Tent. I like it. I like the design. I like the thought put into this. Um, for these colder nights, it's not uh, a good option for me because of the condensation. But I can see on those warmer nights in the spring or summer or fall this would be great option so i'm going to leave a link down below that you can check this out for yourself appreciate you watching and thanks a lot